basically done for the day. But now I'm officially done. Just done 40 minutes of cardio for city state and 10 minutes in the sauna to get rid of any water, water retention I was holding from the plane. Um, yeah, I'm finito. I'm done. So I'm just setting up for tomorrow's carb up and just I just want you to, to show you what half of the amount of carbs I'm having. Are you ready? So this is 600 grams of potato and I'm having two whole packs of rice cakes. And then on top of that, I've got 250 grams of oats to have tomorrow as well. Look at my hands. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm excited for tomorrow's carb up. 600, these two, and then 250 grams of oats. This is gonna be fun. You just saw in the clip before, probably me showing you last night, me preparing all my carbs for today. So, um, that's going to be very interesting to see how my body responds to that because I'm very, very flat this morning. And when I say flat, I mean my muscles aren't filled out with glycogen. So, because I haven't had as many carbs as I usually would, so yesterday we cut half of my carbs of what I usually would have. Um, to kind of prepare me for today so my body soaks up the carbs a little bit better so I'm almost having I think I've got 460 grams of carbs today um, all proteins stay the same all fats are staying the same and yeah that's pretty much it but I'm excited to see obviously how everything looks because yeah like I said I am very flat and I can tell because like my glutes don't pop like there's not much definition um, and that's kind of like what being flat feels like um, and yesterday I couldn't really get a pump in the gym like, because I haven't got that much glycogen in my in my body so I'm excited obviously to see how this makes my body look tomorrow and today especially so it's gonna be a good day um, we're pushing carbs a little bit more obviously because last time as you saw my 900 gram carb refeed that was spread over a week I had 900 grams of carbs so and that obviously made my body look great um, but this time we're putting almost 500 grams of carbs in one day um, Last time I did have a refeed at seven days out of 360 grams of carbs. So Adam's like, okay, let's add another 100 grams of carbs. So we're going to see how that goes. Because obviously my feedback was to be fuller. So we're going to play off that and obviously see if that works. But yeah, we're going to just play it by ear and I'm excited. But I'm just making some food now. And then what we're doing today is going to get my scans done so obviously last time as you saw when i came to denver last time i did like the 3d scans so now that was me about six weeks out now i'm peak week and i've already done a show so we're gonna see what my body looks like now so i'm really excited because adam's like already said like your body looks so different to when i last saw it so i'm excited so we're gonna get all measurements done today get all readings done today and today's gonna be a good day I can't even see the bottom So many carbs. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> I'm a floss. <laughs> Let's see here, just visual, let's go visually. You can see first. my lats have downsized already. Yeah, you see the, you're streamlined for sure. Yeah. So an inch, oh, wow. one inch on the quad, 1.2 inches on the quad down. 
upper quad. So this is actually a perfect size. You said to, I remember the measurements last time, that's the measurements you wanted. Yeah, this is perfect. The taper is good. Arms, 10.2, that's good. Let's look at the shoulder base, that's what I'm curious about. Yeah. That's gonna be interesting. 41.6 on that one. Oh wow. Yeah, 43. I'm gonna look at the right spots, right? Yeah, about that. So a little bit streamlined. So the other one was 41.6. 41 1.4. Uh -huh. Yeah, 1.4. Yeah. So, which crazy, it's, a lot of that's crazy is that you're down and this one is pounds wise is 12 pounds difference too. Oh wow. 12 pounds. Mm. Crazy, right? Mm. So, shoulders are more streamlined, waistline is more streamlined. What was the difference of the waist? Um, oh, yeah. An inch, uh, no, 0. 0.7 yeah. on there. So ratio wise, you're killing it. Yeah. yeah. I think if you can get the waist down, and you can still get it down a little tighter. I think we can. Yeah. I think by the end of the season, we can get you in the 23s. Mm. I think any lean of that, it's going to bring around the same problem. It's going to we're going to think that your waist is too small. Too small, and then everything else is bigger. It looks, mm. looks just too different. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative. Yeah. 23s, I think, is the goal. 23, like two or something. So. That's so interesting. That shoulder jump is crazy. Yeah. She was like six weeks out. It's kind of a strange scenario because we didn't have a ton of time to no. get in the shape that we got into last time, so we kind of were rushing. And now we're just kind of cruising, but we're really trying to sculpt. Okay. That's You can try that. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should Yeah. Definitely flat. Yeah, totally. Pops just a little bit gone, right? Mm. Yeah. Like, if I call it, it's out. Yeah. yeah. The waistline is crazy, though, right? man. It's weird that it's, it's 24, because it looks like it's like 22. I know. crazy how much it like I was posing the HO is this size but if you can even see like, there's just no pop this size can we can try to see it let's just try this real quick see what I hear say what the uh, you're, you're, what you're doing there we might be able to get more um, hamstring bone here if we mm -hmm. just bend your knee a little let's just try it uh, yeah, let's just see oh yeah Oh, yeah, you can see it a lot. Yeah, yeah right? Through here, through here. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm intrigued to see if I can actually fit all this food in my snack today. It's pretty much we're just having clean carbs, so we're not going crazy because I know a lot of people with this amount of carbs would then go with like things that are high volume carbs that maybe have muffins or bagels or something but like we don't want to irritate my stomach um, or anything so we're pretty much going to have the exact same amount of like same carb sources as what I'd usually have which is potato, rice cakes and oats um, just to keep it clean just to because that's what my body knows and um, we don't want to upset my stomach or anything like that like six days out so we're just sticking, sticking clean and yeah that'll be all good. So what we're doing is we're trying to work this specific area, this tie-in here. So we've been kind of been working on like all of our tie-ins. We did this with the glutes the other day, and now we're doing it here. We want to get this to be a little bit better, so we're going to try to find the target, the target exercise that works this the best without maybe getting so much bigger here. So if we can just eliminate it to, to these areas that make her pop without getting so much bigger, then that would be ideal. So we're going to see if we can do this. I give this a shake. Now that means that we're connected. A little light, and then I just put this on here. 
right in that area that we're trying to target. And so we're going to find the optimal exercise for that. And then we're going to do another area. You said you were having a problem getting your rear delts to activate. So yeah. Much, right? So let's go ahead and actually switch that. Let's do a rear delt one. Mm -hmm. So now, when she's lifting. Which one's? Uh, uh, so the, the lateral head is this, the tie-in. Top one. And then the posterior delt is the. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. That's so bad. What we learned yesterday with doing this was that um, even though she doesn't have to lift heavy weight, she just squeezes really hard, mm -hmm. we can get awesome workouts. Actually, she was getting better contractions with the lighter weights and single leg to, on her body weights. Yeah. Then, um, then with actual weight. So it's not always about the load. You know, sometimes it's about feeling it. So, so now we have, so when she does that, we kind of see like her maximum contraction ability. So now mm -hmm. we can see what her maximum contraction ability with weight is, and that's how we maximize this. So, all right. A lot of times people go all the way down, so go all the way down, and then watch what, see, when you go all the way down, see these like how low it goes? It goes mm -hmm. like way down there. So like when you're bodybuilding, you don't need to go all the way down like that. And that's what a lot of bodybuilders do, which is you're eliminating the time under tension on the muscle. Mm -hmm. And for bodybuilding, there's no reason to do that. For like strength lifting and you know, power lifting, it, it's really important to do that. But for bodybuilding, when you're just trying to keep the muscle tension and break it down, this is way more important. So mm -hmm. the loads get way lighter. I like it because it's lighter because you reduce your risk of injury and you're increasing how hard you're working. So, but I, it, it is way harder. You have to drop your ego at the door because you can't lift as much weight. Mm -hmm. We use back, lateral, mm -hmm. bicep, tricep, legs. Okay. okay, so let's go ahead and start off with your um, back first. So we'll go 15 pound. Okay. Squeeze the neck. Get you a little more. Get your shoulders come back too. There you go. So right now, like this, I want you to fully roll forward. There you go. There you go. A little bit faster and squeeze hard. Boom. I'm just gonna rep out, rep out, rep out. A little faster. There you go. Right here, you just slight pumps, just like this thing, just like this range. Just feel that muscle. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's very tough. <laughs> so it's probably our last really hard working day where we can get rid of it. There you go. There you go. It's alright. What do you got? Arms a little bit like eight. There you go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Squeeze. Here, <sighs> triceps. Okay. Here, and squeeze. There you go. You gotta push, push, push. There you go. Push, push, push. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Just pump this one out. Pump and pump and pump. Remember, you gotta squeeze that area that we're trying to hit. Okay, so don't lose focus of squeezing the area we want to hit. I'm gonna bite them all, yeah, I'm burning it up. DPGC, you should be turning Turn it up. up. CPT, LBC, yeah, we hooking back up. Oh, you got this push, 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 come on. It's the last hard day. And it's just popping after that. Taking chances while we dancing in the party for show. Slip my girl a 44 when she crept in the back door. Chickens looking at me strange, but you know I don't care. Step up in the smother. What? Just a swank in my head. Trick, quick talking, quick walk if you down with the set. Take a bullet with some grip and take the smoke on this jet. Out of town, put it down for the father of rap. And if you happen to get cracked, trick, shut your trap. Come back, get back. That's the part of success. If you believe in the ass, you be relieving your stress. It's the one and only
So we just finished up at the contest prep centre. Day three of being in Nibba, and now we are currently walking down to get Max some donuts because people have recommended us. Aka! People have recommended us to go to this place called Voodoo Donuts and it's legit apparently so I'm excited to see this. Clearly this is legit because there is currently a queue if you can see that right there. That's the queue. Hopefully this goes down quickly because I'm not even having donuts right now. So, so many people have requested for me to film whatever Max kind of has. So, that's his first. Oh, there you go. Mm, that's good. No food, no. No filling? Damn. Tastes good, though. <laughs> the current update it is 20 past seven, and I have no food left apart from carbs to eat. So, I've eaten all my protein, I've eaten all my veg, um, I've eaten most of my carbs. I now I'm just staring at 250 grams of oats to eat and I don't know how I'm actually going to do it because I'm so full right now. So, like, this is thick. She thick, so <laughs> I'm gonna have to eat these somehow. Um, but I've got still got 40 minutes of cardio to do. It's just steady state cardio. Um, it literally can be walking on the treadmill, uh, just getting a bit of a sweat on, moving. Um, and then I'm gonna go in the sauna for like 10 minutes or so just to kind of relax and then see what I look like tomorrow, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's almost 460 grams of carbs done today. And the 460 grams of carbs alone is over 2000 calories. So it's crazy. It's just crazy like how different things are to last year and how we're coming up and stuff like that. So I shall see you tomorrow. This is interesting. Oh wow! Damn. <gasps> so my waist has come in over an inch. Holy crap, yeah. <laughs> One point. I did say that I felt tighter in my stomach this morning as well. <gasps> Glutes are flatter. It's, it's, it's weird too. That's you can so see weird. It too, yeah. And I was like, I could see it too, yeah. That's crazy though. What the hell? Arms are fuller. Arms are fuller, waist is smaller. Glutes are pretty Glutes much are the tighter. Same. Yeah, they're pretty much the same yeah. point too, but it's probably you probably see it a little bit. Yeah. This is where I'm worried, let's see. It's a little bit bigger on the legs. That's one thing I'm, there's a oh. little bit of a concern. It's only a little bit, point three, but that's Would that be water retention from cardio as well? Oh, uh, could be. You're still because I'm still on forty minutes of cardio yeah. and I did cross training yesterday. So we have to bring that down then. Okay. This is actually crazy. So this is me in March, I think it's the 16th of March, and my waist was a 25.3 compared to today, it's a 23.3. Like, it's actually insane. Considering, like, we wanted my waist to come down a lot more, it's come down so much. And the same with my legs, obviously, we discussed with Adam last time that my legs wanted to be a lot smaller, so here, in March time, they were 22.1 versus now 20.9. So they've come down a lot, but like I haven't lost muscle, if that makes sense. So they don't look like I've lost muscle. They just look tapered down, which is really, really good. And I'm really happy with. So yeah, these are my results. And it's just so cool. And I'm going to show you my results of one day difference, like right now. This is yesterday's reading after having 460 grams of carbs. So my legs were a little bit watery from leg day, I think, um, and cardio. So we cut down cardio as of yesterday. And now my legs went down to a 20.9. And then if we go to glutes, which is really interesting. So my glutes yesterday were a little bit flat, which we think is from, again, the high amount of cardio. So they were a 35.8 compared to today. 
36.2. So they're a lot more pumped, a lot more fuller um, than yesterday, which is crazy. <laughs> it's just mad how like, how much difference this really makes. All these little tweaks that we're making, they're working a lot more. Okay, so this is even more interesting. So on, in March, so you know I said, or Adam said about having a bit of a wider back. Um, my lats were quite wide. Um, so we took out quite a lot of back training for me. So back in March time, my lats were, well technically my chest slash lats were a 37.3, whereas now, there are 33.8, so they've come down a lot, which is really good obviously because I think my back was quite overpowering last year, as we discussed, for bikini, so that's just insane. And now we're just chilling before we go, in these little space boots. But yeah, we're leaving Denver today, and where are we going now? Puerto Rico. Yes, we're going to Puerto Rico today, so we'll be there for a week, and I'm so excited.